Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Satish. In today's session, I am going to be discussing about the Spring Boot. In the today's session, especially I am focusing what is Spring Boot, what are the main features are there in Spring Boot. What is Spring Boot? What are the main features are there in Spring Boot? So, this is our main focus. So, now first try to understand what is actually Spring Boot. So, concentrate here. The Spring Boot is a not a framework. Spring Boot is not a framework. It is a way, it is a way to create any kind of Spring application with uh, zero number of configurations or with uh, no configurations. So, it is a approach or it is a way to create any kind of Spring application with uh, zero number of configurations. So, Spring Boot is not a framework, it is only the approach or it is a way to create any kind of Spring application with zero number of configurations. Okay. So, now observe if you already know the Spring framework then it is very easy to learn, then it is very very easy to learn Spring Boot. If you know the Spring framework already it is very easy to learn Spring Boot because Spring Boot is nothing but it is a top of the Spring Framework only. It is already developed on the top of the Spring Framework only. So, to learn Spring Boot compulsory minimum knowledge is required on Spring Framework that is especially dependency injection concept minimum knowledge is required. The Spring Boot it is a new project of Spring Framework team. Okay. So, what is the main use of Spring Boot? Spring Boot is used to develop any kind of Spring Framework application. So, observe here the Spring Boot is supporting to develop any kind of Spring Framework application by using Java programming language as well as by using Groovy. So, Spring Boot is supporting to develop any kind of Spring application by using Java as well as what by using Groovy. Okay. So, now observe one more important feature is it reduces a lot of development time and it increases the productivity. Why it is a reduces a lot of development time? When we are working with a Spring Boot as a programmer not required to be concentrate as a programmer not required to be concentrate to provide any XML configurations. As a programmer not required to be concentrate to provide any XML configurations and annotation configurations. What are the required configurations are there for Spring application? What are the minimum required configurations are there for Spring application? All that minimum required configurations are by default providing by Spring Boot. So, all the required configurations by default providing by Spring Boot as a developer we are not focusing to implement that respect to configurations because of that reason development time is decreases. So, Spring Boot avoids lot of boilerplate coding and XML configurations and also lot of annotation configurations. It is avoiding boilerplate coding and also it is avoiding annotation and XML configurations. So, next observe one more important feature, it is a supporting to integrate with the Spring ecosystems, Spring ecosystems like Spring JDBC, Spring ORM, Spring security, Spring data, Spring batch etcetera. So, Spring boot is supporting to integrate the Spring framework applications with any ecosystem of the Spring framework like JDBC or ORM or security or data or batch and Spring Boot follows Spring Boot follows opinionated default configurations, opinionated default configurations approach to, to reduce the development time and also Spring Boot provides embedded HTTP servers, Spring Boot provides embedded HTTP servers like Tamcat. 
So, when we are working with the Spring Boot, again not required to be include the server into your application because by default it is providing the embedded HTTP servers like Timecat to develop and test your web applications to develop or test your web applications in the easy manner. Okay. And Spring Boot also provides lot of plugins to work with that uh, embedded uh, data sources, to work with embedded templates, to work with embedded templates and to work with uh, embedded servers. So, it is providing embedded servers, it is providing embedded data sources, it is providing embedded template configurations also. It is also providing number of starter plugins to create Spring project within the less time. It avoids completely XML configurations. So, when we are working with the Spring Boot, our Spring application is not using any XML configurations and also it is reduces number of annotation configurations. It is completely avoiding XML configurations, it is reducing number of annotation configurations and uh, Spring Boot provides command line interface tools to develop and uh, test the Spring Boot applications. So, Spring Boot provides what? CLI, CLI is nothing but command line interface tool to develop and test the Spring Boot applications from command prompt in the easy manner. Okay. Next another important feature is Spring Boot provides a lot of plugins to develop and test what Spring Boot applications very easily by using some kind of plugins or by using some kind of tools like uh, Maven and uh, Gradle. So, when we are working with the Spring Boot uh, as a programmer, as a programmer we are writing very less number of configurations in the Maven Palm.xml. Maven Palm.xml. As a programmer, we are writing less number of configurations in the Maven Palm.xml file. Okay, so it is also by default providing what application build tools support like Maven and Gradle. So these many number of features are there in which one Spring Boot. The main limitation of Spring Boot. What is the main limitation of Spring Boot? Is it is very tough and it is very time consuming process to convert existing or legacy Spring Framework project into Spring Boot application. But Spring Boot is a best to create the new Spring project. So, this is the main limitation of which one Spring Boot. Okay. These are the main features of Spring Boot and main limitation of the Spring Boot. The Spring Boot current version is 1.4.3. This Spring Boot 1.4.3 version supporting to develop a Spring Framework application by using Spring 4.3.x and uh, Java 8. So, this is a major uh, current version of which one Spring Boot. And one more important point, it is also supporting to work with uh, various number of servlet containers, various number of servlet containers the Spring Boot applications we can deploy on any Surlet 3.0, Surlet 3.0 containers or Surlet 3.0 plus containers, may Surlet 3.0 higher version containers we can use to deploy your Spring Boot applications. Okay. But a very important point, whenever you are working with uh, Tamcat 8, Tamcat 8 uh, it is a required to be use a servlet version as 3.1 and uh, it is a minimum required to be maintain Java 7 and higher versions. For example, if you are using Tamcat 7, then compulsory it is required to be use servlet 3.0 version and minimum Java version required to be maintained as what 6. So, Spring Boot supporting to deploy our application into any container. But the servlet container minimum version required to be maintained as what 3.0 or higher. And another important feature of Spring Boot is it is supporting to work with various number of view templates. So, what are the view templates it is supporting? What are the templates it is supporting? So, con concentrate it is supporting to work with uh, free marker templates, free marker 
and it is supporting to work with uh, groovy templates, it is supporting to work with uh, time leaf templates. So, here what I am saying as it is always recommended to be avoid which one JSP, why it is recommended to be avoid uh, JSPs, there are number of limitations are there when we are working with uh, embedded servlet containers with uh, spring boot. So, you are designing a spring boot application by using JSP and the same time you are depending on embedded servlet containers many number of problems are coming in the application. So, because of that reason it is recommended to be avoid JSP instead of using JSP it is recommended to be use free marker or groovy or time leaf or velocity. And one more important point we can use here any template engine any template engine like free marker groovy time leaf or velocity all these are templates automatically getting by spring boot from src main resources templates folder. Our spring boot application contain templates folder, the templates folder is coming as part of resources. So, any template engine here we can use those templates are by default getting by spring boot from this respective directory. Okay, it is also recommended to be maintain these kind of templates or these kind of view templates in this directory only and it is recommended to be avoid which one JSP. Why? Many number of problems are coming when we are depending on embedded servlet containers in the spring boot application. Okay. So, this uh, spring boot is supporting to work with uh, various number of templates also to design our UI. And how many ways are there to create the spring boot application? Just now we discussed uh, spring boot is uh, providing command line interface tool, command line interface tool to develop and test what spring framework applications. So, it is possible to develop the spring boot application total in three ways. What are the three ways is first one by using spring boot uh, command line interface, by using spring boot uh, command line interface, another one is by using start.spring.io website, by using start.spring.io website and also by using spring tool suit id, by using spring tool suit id in shortcut that is called as sts id. Spring boot application if you want to, to design then here total three approaches are there, one is spring boot cli, another one is spring uh, start.spring.io and another one is spring tool suit id. Okay. So, here in our classroom we will use spring tool suit IDE to develop the spring boot applications. Okay. Spring tool suit IDE also almost similar to eclipse only okay. to develop the spring boot application this is the best IDE. Okay. In the next session I will discuss how to create the hello example, how to create the hello example of spring boot how to develop the hello example of spring boot by using spring tool suit id okay thank you for watching in the next session i will cover about application development